If you manage poo yourself, you are definitely familiar with tailored test kits to measure chemicals contained in the water of your pool. Personally, for me, using liquid testers, or how it's right to say, reagents to measure chlorine was always easy, but bumping into DPD powder was always freaking me out because I couldn't get the secret of those instructions how to use it. This video is a comparison of measuring chlorine with DPD powder from Taylor K 2006 kit and liquid DPD reagent from Taylor K 2005 kit. I'm gonna start from liquid reagent from Taylor K 2005. You rinse and fill small comparator tube to 9 milliliters mark. You add 5 drops of R0001 and 5 drops of R0002. Cap it, swirl and mix. Match the color with color chart on a tube under CL mark. The number will tell you how much parts per million chlorine you have in your pool water. In my case, I have something around 5 ppm. Now DPD powder from Taylor K 2006 kit. There is two ways to record and do your testing. First is more accurate and second is more economical. For both, we use big comparator tube, not small now. The more accurate way will require usage of more reagent, but based on manufacturer, not me, I talked to them over the phone, this method will give you the closest number to correctness. You fill big tube to 25 milliliters mark. Next, you add two dippers of your DPD powder. Again, based on manufacturer's word, it's not a problem if your scoop has little over of the powder, but the most important is to have a slot in the scoop field. You mix it up, of course it's gonna turn pink if chlorine is present. Then you add liquid reagent 0871, swirling and counting until color changes from pink to clear colorless. I needed 35 drops. To record the number of free chlorine, you multiply 35 on 0.2 parts per million and it will give you 7 parts per million as the number. Second way is more economical. You fill in up your tube to 10 ml sample. The same way you add two dippers of powder and swirl. Nothing changes with your next step and you add in drops of 0871 counting each until color of the water turns from pink to clear. This time the amount of drops you needed, in my case it was 14, you multiply on 0.5 parts per million, which gave me the number of 7 parts per million, which is the same as recording from using 25 milliliters tube. If you paid attention on my video, you will notice that the recording of free chlorine in the pool water using liquid reagents R0001 and R0002 was 5 parts per million. Not sure what readings were more accurate, but hope you got a good idea how to get both. Mm -hmm. 